Hey guys, we have here our JBL Pulse 3 and in this video we want to explain to you how to replace the battery, so how to get access to it and then also how to assemble it back together. So we're starting out by taking off this ring at the top and all we have to do is here twist this counterclockwise by a little bit and then underneath you find a couple of small Phillips screws, so remove all of those and then here the passive radiator should come right off. So underneath here we're finding couple more a little bit bigger screws also Phillips screws so let's remove all of those and then we have here a little important detail that's this cable here that goes to the Bluetooth antenna and that's plugged into the motherboard right on the corner there so we want to make sure before we continue to remove this plug so unplug this here from the motherboard to make sure that we don't accidentally rip off the antenna so then the next step here is to remove the grill on the bottom deck where the speakers are so we're going to pop off uh, the one of the sides here we're just using some kind of prying tool detaching the grill here and we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side as well and then there's a couple of uh, pins that hold the uh, grill here in place in the front where the uh, JBL logo so we have to pop that off there as well and underneath here we're going to find here on the side facing upward more screws so we're going to remove all of those and next we're going to uh, use a sharp knife and we're going to cut through the uh, seam that's here between the uh, see-through part, the clear part and the black part. So we're going to cut along here a little bit. That will help us to cut loose the or break loose the glue that holds this piece together. And then eventually after a lot of wiggling, you would be able to slide this off. So this was going to take you a couple of minutes. So then let's have a look at the LEDs while we're seeing them here for the first time just in person. You can see here my LEDs are actually uh, partially broken. So you see this part is working fine and the others here, these are just working heretically. And a couple of them are don't work, not working at all. Uh, so now there's going to be a couple more screws here that we have to remove. And then we can detach here the white part with the LEDs from the base. And you have to be really careful because there's a lot of wires and cables going along here. So next we're going to remove those two screws that are here on the bottom that hold the motherboard in place. And then we're going to push a little bit the motherboard forward, but not too much, just enough so that we can get access here to all the connectors here for all those wires. And we're going to disconnect only three wires. Those are the ones that go to the LEDs and to the battery. So those are three connectors that we have to carefully un uh, disconnect. Make sure not to ex uh, accidentally uh, rip the port itself off and as soon as we've done that then i'm going to here uh, push out the entire motherboard so you may not have to do this um, but i'm doing this for because it's much easier to record this video and it gives you a lot more uh, space to handle this okay so now we're going to find here four more screws here on the sides two on each side we're going to remove all four of those and once we've done that then we can uh, snip through these um, cable ties here there's two cable ties holding the leds uh, just in case we're going to remove those but the leds are also glued in place and we're going to use a screwdriver to detach one of them we're starting out with one the one that has the the three cables coming from the bottom part you see the red white and black cable coming up so that's the led strip that you want to carefully remove and we're just going to use a flat blade screwdriver and i'm sliding this along here making sure that i'm not damaging that led strip and once that is done then we can also push the wires through the frame here see this uh connector here just barely fits fits through that hole so you have to squeeze it through there and once we've done that then we have to remove the next two um led strips as well so we're going here clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on which direction you're looking at, but we're you are you following here the uh, flatbed cable flatbed cable. So we're moving a to removing a total of three of those LED strips. And then make sure that you really have removed those two screws here on the both sides. So four screws total. Once we when we have removed those, then we can open up the battery cover here. And then we find the battery. And the battery is glued in place with uh, some double-sided tape. It's really difficult to remove. And this was going to be probably taking the longest time here. So I'm really carefully cutting through this double-sided tape and breaking it loose. And I'm doing this really, really carefully because this pouch, pouch battery, this uh, when you damage that, then it's really 
unsafe to handle it may actually catch fire so you really want to make sure that you don't put any stress on these batteries so i'm really just trying to cut through the uh, tape and i'm not like trying to pry the battery loose or trying to wiggle it or anything i'm just really literally all i'm doing is push the the knife that i'm using here with this blade i'm going to like push this right through uh, the double-sided tape and i'm not using it to a lever as a lever uh, to break the uh, battery off uh, just because i don't want to damage the battery the old even though it's old even though it's an old battery i still don't want to damage it i don't want to risk any uh, accident here so i'm going to do this from both sides and after a while so as i said this this is going to take several minutes uh, take your time doing this and after a while you'll be able to remove the battery here and then uh, of course we have to pull it through here the harness the wires here that come through and now we can take a quick look here at the battery type i'm also going to uh, post a link in the comment section below where you find the replacement battery so there's a thick 6000 milliamp battery and then the new battery we're just going to put right back in place so uh, if you're lucky then you still adhesive the double-sided table is still going to work and just put it back into position so we're going to put everything back together put the four screws in for the battery cover uh, the uh, led strips should still be the adhesive used there should still be working you can just put those back and then slide the uh, motherboard back in don't forget to connect all those connectors all those cables before you uh, continue with the reassembly and then we're going to slide it in all the way put the two screws on here so that the motherboard doesn't slide out and then when we are putting the top back into the base make sure you check out look for this little uh, cut out here this fits right into the one certain position putting those silver Phillips screws back in and now I didn't have any cable ties at hand so I'm just going to use some rubber band two rubber bands to hold make sure that the uh, LED strips are holding in place so all of the LED strips are glued so then they shouldn't technically come off anyway uh, but just to make sure I'm going to put some uh, rubber bands around here so there's in just in case one of them gets loose it will be still held in position then we're going to put the dome back on here and we have to align this right we have to uh, first make sure that the uh, antenna cable here doesn't get pinched anywhere and then we have to rotate the uh, clear part here this translucent part in a certain position so you can see there's two plastic pins popping up from the white part one is here on the left side and this this should go through a small hole and then there's one more here in the upper right corner and all the other holes those are uh, there for the uh, Phillips screws that we have to put in in a second so then we can eventually push both parts here of the uh, outside of the assembly here together and then there shouldn't be any more seam if you want to make sure it's water safe waterproof again then maybe put some super glue in there before you push them together and i'm just not going to do hassle with that so then we had four more screws on the bottom part to hold the two pieces together and then also here of course the phillips screws that go in here on the top then here one of the most complicated parts maybe is adding or attaching the antenna back onto the motherboard I'm using some tweezers, tweezers to hold the cable in place and then I'm using like a flat blade screwdriver to push down on the connector and make sure that the connector is really all the way down and doesn't uh, come loose again otherwise you will have really bad connection to your smartphone otherwise you will notice it right away if this wasn't done right. Okay so now here the passive radiator it has a couple of cutouts here a couple of bigger cutouts and then there's one small really small cutout here on the side and that is going to fit into one spot here so you see this there's like a pin that sticks up make sure that the cutout and the pin are aligning and then you have the uh, passive radiator in the right position and then we can use these small phillips screws here to also tighten this thing down make sure that really everything is down don't over tighten because you're screwing metal screws into plastic so if you over tighten then it will just break and then of course we have here this cover this ring we're just going to slide this on here slip it on and then all we have to do is twist it just a little bit clockwise like an eighth of a turn that will be all right then next we can install the grill so first make sure to hold it 
uh, right side up that you can read the JBL logo and then you can see here these uh, four connection points right behind or to the side of the JBL logo. And those are have some corresponding points here for pins sticking out of the speaker part. And so make sure that these align perfectly and we're going to first attach the grill with the speaker at these four spots. So otherwise we're going to have some trouble completing this task. So first align everything right. You should be able to hear like a little click sound so when they are going into position and then it should be perfectly aligned. So the grill should be perfectly aligned with the speakers. And then at that point, all we have to do is wrap around the grill here or all the way around the speaker to the back side. And here we can also snap the grill into position should be really easy okay yeah this looks good and then that was already it right so we can turn our speaker back on we can recharge it and that was already it for this video hope you found the information helpful if you have any more questions or comments then please leave a message below